So, hello, hello. We are actually playing Battleship today. Ooh, let's try it again. Did I wobble? So, we're going to play Battleship today. Now, Battleship game is usually a two-way game. And it was thought. Also, it is quite difficult to play Battleship online like this. So, this is how we do it. Ready? Remember the map we used? Remember this? See, we used alphabet, alphabets, alphabet, so letters and the numbers to indicate what square we are referring to. We called coordinates like E3, this is called G4. Now we're going to use that with the battleship. So, can you find your 4x4 game board? We're going to write A, B, C, D here. And one, two, three, four there. So I'm going to give you one minute to do so. So you ready? Now this is going to be your job to place battleships on the gaming board. What I'm going to do what we're going to do is I'm going to guess where they are. Now you are allowed to put four battleships. So what you're going to do is on your grid map, you're going to draw a circle indicating that is your battleship right there's a rule your battleship cannot be right next to each other so if you have a battleship here next battleship cannot be here 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 or there right so i'm going to make another battleship somewhere here now i cannot find i cannot add any battleships over here so my next battleship needs to be either here 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 or here right so i'm going to do it here and maybe i can do it here now it's your turn can you draw four battleships on your game board and i'm going to guess where they are Are you ready? If I sink, so you have four battleships. If I sink one battleship, clearly you still win. If I sink two battleships, I think we can say we tie. If I sink three battleships, I win. If I sink four battleships, I definitely win. So, now I'm going to give you only six guesses. Ready? Now, see we have 16 squares. I'm going to guess six of them. Now let's see, is your game board ready? I'm going to guess your battleship is on A1. Check your battleship map. And you just cross it out, A1. Did I hit your ship? I think your battleship is going to be on A3. Did I miss it or did I hit it? Next one, I think your battleship is on C2. How many battleships left? If you still have four ships left, I am quite impressed. D1 is my next guess. My second last guess, I think your battleship is on C4. My last guess, your battleship is on D3. How did you go? Can you see if you can check 
how many ships I hit. Now can you find this 8x8 board game or game board? Now we do the same thing but it's going to be slightly different. The first thing we need to do is to write A to H and one from the bottom three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this this box or cell is called A1, B1, this is called B7, G7, right? Let's write all the letters from A to H, one to eight on your game board. So you're going to draw this time a lot of ships. I want you to draw one commander ship. Now the commander ship has to have three squares. So three squares and you're going to draw like an oval. Could be vertical three squares now also i want you to draw two lots of submarines submarines now submarines need two squares could be horizontal or vertical no it cannot be diagonal now also i need two lots of cruisers 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 also need two squares. Now you're going to draw two of those, right? Also, I want you to draw or want you to draw five destroyers. Destroyers only can have one square. Right? Wait for it. Well let's check this. I need one commander. Either you go this way or this way. Two lots of submarines, horizontal or vertical. Two cruisers, either horizontal or vertical. And five destroyers on your map. Wait for it. You need, you also need one bomb. I'll tell you what it does. Now you can just draw a bomb, right? Remember, when you draw, for example, when you draw a commander somewhere like this, you cannot have other ships around. So you have to think where you're going to put those two submarines, two cruisers, five destroyers, and a bomb. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to give you about three minutes to complete your battleship game board. So. So, ready? There are 64 squares on this map. I'm going to have 15 guesses. Right? So, 1 to 15. So, there are 64 squares on this map, 8 by 8. There are... Oh, let's check. There are 10 ships on your map, right? 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5, plus 5 is 10, then one bomb. Now, so clearly there's 10 ships. If, after my 15 guesses, if you have 5 ships left, that's tie. If you have more than 5 ships, you win. If I think more than 5 ships, I win. But here's a little trick. If I hit the bomb somewhere in the middle of guessing, I lose straight away. Now, if I hit your commander ship, which you should be on because you're the commander, you lose straight away. So, it doesn't matter what happens at the end, 
if I hit your commander ship, you lose straight away. But if I hit the bomb, I lose straight away. Your commander, you lose. If I hit the bomb, I lose straight away. Let's go. I think your ship will be in A2. I think your ship may be in on the square A7. B4. What you can do is you can see you can cross on A2, cross on A7, cross on B4, see if I hit your ships. I think it's D1. Hmm. C8. I know people tend to put the ships right on the edge. So let's do that. E2. I will, somewhere in the middle, E5. Uh, F8. My ninth guess will be G4. My tenth guess is G6. H3. H7. Three left. I'm going to go B1. Hmm. I know right on the corner. A8. Last one. I'm going to hit your commander. If it's still floating. G1. Now I recorded all the guesses. A2, A7, B4. See if I hit your ship. Did I win? Did you win? How many ships are still floating? Or if they're afloat now? You can play this game by yourself or with your friends or your parents, your siblings. See you soon.